some lights and interesting stories. Now, multilingual investigative journalist Peter Nganga, who is also a representative of the Committee to Protect Journalists, has been selected for the 2019 Jamal Khashoggi Award for Courageous Journalism. It's the first of its kind. The award is administered by the U.S.-based N.T. Ramey Fund, a global human rights foundation. Nganga learned about the good news through a letter signed by Anas Talakai, Talalka, beg your pardon, the human rights advisor at the fund. It noted that the award honors the brave journalists who expose abuse of power and corruption, share difficult truths, discuss taboo topics, and work in hostile environments. For true democracy to work, it says, there must be free press. Upon receiving the letter, Peter tweeted, Today I was announced a winner of the Jamal Khashoggi Award for Courageous Journalism by at NT Ramey Fund. I dedicate this award to all journalists and human rights defenders in Africa. The struggle is real, but it is not over until we win. Hashtag justice for Jamal. Peter joins us now from our Abuja studio. Peter, congratulations are in order. Thanks for making time to be with us. We thought you'd be out celebrating by now. Uh, your award is a really important one. I mean, this is the first of its kind for uh, the late Jamal Khashoggi. I suppose you have mixed feelings about it. Talk to us about how you feel, though, about being one of the first recipients, especially from Nigeria. Yes, um, um, Marachi, thank you very much. Um, uh, like you rightly said, mixed feelings. Joy, happiness, but a lot of sorrow. Uh, before I even express myself further, I just want to say that I was with the Committee to Protect Journalists based in New York uh, for five years, and I left since 2017. So I'm no longer with them, but they will still work together in ensuring that we defend the rights of journalists worldwide. When I received the news, I was, I was pleased because it was a sen I felt a sense of fulfillment that when you really give your best and you really put hard work, that you get rewarded. I felt that peace, that joy. But upon closer and, and introspective reflection, I would say I, I felt sad. Sad because though we might be saying it's a good thing, but yet we have to remember the substance. Yeah. A human being who could have been someone's father, who could be in anyone's brother's or anyone's nephew or son, walked into the one place where he or she would feel the safest in another country, your embassy like in Nigeria, working to the Nigerian embassy in any other country. And instead of getting service, which you, you have a right to by virtue of your nationality, instead you end up being hacked to pieces, hacked into pieces, like it's meat, like as if you're cutting for more. And you take that, and now we are hearing that his body was incinerated. It's appalling, and that's why for me, when I think about this award now, I think about it more as, what are we also as Nigerians doing for our own who have suffered plights similar as this? 32, going to 33 years ago, Delegiwa was killed via a parcel bomb. The same October 19, 1986, 33 years we're entering, nothing. It, it makes me worry about, and then we look, I just was watching the program on, on, on Network Africa, see what we see, wars everywhere. We see, yeah. we see authoritarianism, we see totalitarianism, we see dictatorship, we see governments trying to perpetuate themselves, like I said, with monarchies, we see evil around us. And evil thrives when good people do nothing. But when good people do something, it's important also that they are encouraged so that they can do more. And other people can see them as also a measuring yardstick to say, yes, if he or she can do it and I can do it, then together the team can come out and the dream can work. And press freedom happens to be a really important issue around the world because uh, journalists uh, are one of the most uh, endangered uh, species, if I may say. So it is... It, it, I do understand how you feel, you know, about receiving this award, but let's talk about the life of Jamal Khashoggi and the kind of journalism that he represented, his, the, the impact he had on, you know, today's journalism. How do you respond to it and how do you think people should understand it, you know, in relation to what's going on now around the world? Thank you for that question. God bless you. You see, before you understand exactly the implication and the, the, the colossal implication of this of this award and what it means, especially in memory of someone like Jamal Khashoggi, we need to cut, we need to think about where is he coming from? Where is the background? The background is Saudi Arabia. I just watched the clip about how Saudi Arabia is donating um, stuff to the IDPs. It's, it, it's, an, it's a noble gesture. I, I sent a message out and I told the Saudi Arabian um, 
foreign affairs that, look, it's, we, we, Nigerians thank you for this. Yet, we still want justice for Jamal. Why? Because Jamal represents you and I, whereby we see evil in the land. One of the, la the last things Jamal said before he, he died, one of his, in, his, his columns, was he couldn't take it any longer. He had seen people around him dying, people around him being persecuted. And because he said, ah, you know, concern me, let me just turn my face. But he couldn't take the pain and the anguish and the misery and the sorrow in the land. And he had to flee. And when he fled, he said, I will use my voice to keep speaking. And that is what he did. He said it's better for him to continue speaking than to remain there and die in his heart. That he'd rather live and speak the truth. And that's what cost him his life. That is the same thing around us in Nigeria and every other country. Whereby people are seeing impunity. Impunity at its, at its highest level. Electoral impunity, political impunity, impunity in every sector. And we just turn the blind eye. Sometimes people even now say we can't beat them, join them. Yeah, but you see, the heart and the mind, when they come together and they realize that what is wrong is wrong, yeah. it's now up to us to realize that what do we do? Do we do like Jamal Khashoggi and speak the truth to power? Do we do that? But if we should do that, then it's good we have a collective of people that will stand together and say, even if as Mr. A is speaking out, I will join him and speak out so that if anything happens to him, it happens to me. And at the time, ever of us come together, then we can achieve that. That's what Jamal Khashoggi represents. He represents every human being on earth who speaks out to get injustice and impunity. Uh, Peter, once again, congratulations on your award. We didn't even have the time to talk about your own work. You've been at the, at the forefront of fighting for justice, you know, for the oppressed, even for journalists, especially here in Nigeria. We thank you for your work, and we do uh, wish you well, and we do hope that, you know, you do greater things with this Jamal Khashoggi Award. Thanks again for joining us on Network Africa. And that's the program today. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani.